Day 155, still alive. <laughs> still like those fives. Anyways, day readings at 8. Woke up, walked the pup. The pup got a little warm. I think she got used to the weather up north. And now, uh, hey puppy. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, somebody's tired. Oh, you're the puppy. You're the tired puppy. Lay down. You're okay. Lay down. Lay down. It's okay. I went for a morning walk. And she, she noticed it was a little bit warmer than up north. So she looked at me and like, really? It's this warm already? <laughs> it's been this warm for a while. You gotta get used to it. Got another month left. So we just did a casual walk. She cut a little spot in the corner of the shade and just kind of sat down for a minute, which is fine. I just... Wanted to get some fresh air and move the legs a little bit, keep trying to socialize her so she doesn't get too crazy with the. from being attacked. And came back, ready for work. Work went by fine, and then got an email in the middle of work from one of my good running buddies, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate it. And he ain't. The group run and said today Brooks running company has a shoe rep there so you can go try on a pair of Brooks shoes I believe they had two for men two for women I don't remember the name I tried of the shoe it was more of an aggressive tempo type run which I thought it was great um, I didn't look too much further into it but just tried them on back to the start of the story so I found out that there's a group run I text my buddy Bryant hey it's like hey man I don't know if you ran yet but there's a group run at like 6 6 30 if you want to go and I caught him while walking good morning after work so like, yeah man cool let me go get changed and we'll get we'll get going head over there I'm like cool man let's go so I got over there and introduced him to a bunch of people there was I don't want to name too many names let's say one Two, three, four, five, at least five people right away. And then we met a new guy there. He was just, he's like, I haven't been on these group runs in like two or three years. How far are you guys going? I'll try to run with you. So we just tried to be, keep it casual. And we ended up picking up another guy who was fairly quick. And it was his second run, so he was only going a few miles. But we had a nice little talk a good pace going. I think it was 726 average. We were well, I'm kind of curious. We started out at the thing, 745. And must have gone faster because it was a 726 average. Makes sense, right? So let's see. 754, 722, 709, 717, 724. Yeah, so after about a mile, we were picking it up, and then one of the guys had turned. Oh, oh excuse me. And then they had kept picking it up. I was trying not to push the pace, because I know if I get out in front, I just keep pushing and pushing. <laughs> Because I think I'm not keeping pace, so I pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Anyways, so that wasn't interesting, but yeah, we had a good group of three to four guys running today. Good pace, talked all the whole time, had a few laughs. Talked about like running backgrounds, and one of the new guys, Brandon, he was doing a 50k coming up in like two or three weeks. We were asking him, how many have you done? How do you how prepared do you feel? What kind of pace do you like to go at? How much do you sleep? And he told me the last one. He's like, yeah, I was up for 26 hours doing the last race. I'm like, it took you 26 hours? And how much of it that did you sleep? He's like, none. I was awake the whole time. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I didn't get some sleep, but I guess that's what the race calls for, right? But I don't know. I like, I like my shorter races much better. 
Alright, anyways, welcome to the group, Brandon and Bryant. It's great to have you guys at the group run. I think there's another one next week. They gave us another raffle ticket. So that was another <clears throat> part of the cool group run. If you tried on a pair of the Brooks shoes, you got a raffle ticket. And then if you just showed up, you got a raffle ticket. And they had two or three goodie bags. They had... The goodie bags were from Brooks. And we had, like, coffee mugs in them. I think hats, stickers kind of thing. I didn't see too much of what my buddy had. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan won. Good job, Ryan. He's one of the first ones to win. And he's like, check out this cool running mug I got. It says number one runner, I think it was. So <laughs> that was pretty cool. And then, what else? What else they, oh, they gave away, I guess, um, I guess detergent for running clothes to help get that sweat or moldy dew out of your clothes. Just to help in case you have like that, I don't want to say gym sweat, but uh, workout sweat where it just, you can tell which clothes are your workout clothes because they have a distinct smell to them, I guess. I was trying to look for an easier, lighter word to that, but leave that smell and then I came with a $50 gift card that was a cool one none of one no one that I knew won that one um, what else was there I think there was a $20 coupon for Brooks gear I think there was a small snack one that someone else had one. Or a water bottle. One with like a the running water bottle that has a little hand holster on it. That was kind of cool. Then we chatted for a bit. Got to talk to my buddy Brian. He's like, yeah, man, it's, it's since the pandemic. That's kind of the first time I've socialized with running groups. So thanks for asking me to come out. Felt great. And so that, that felt great to uh, have the running group that I've been running with bring in a new guy that appreciates the running as well and says he wants to come back and I think Brandon said he's going to come back so hopefully we see Brandon out there again yeah I think that just kind of made my day felt good to socialize with other runners and get it in a good solid run it wasn't the tempo run I wanted to do which I don't know if I'll switch that to Wednesday and Friday But, yeah, as long as I get the miles in this week, I think I've just been so off. I've been trying to get back into six days a week. And I always miss that sixth day. So I'm just trying to get in six. And then the workouts will work out, you know, when they fit in, I guess, right now. And then next week I can try to get back on a Monday, Wednesday. Workouts, Tuesday, Thursday. Easy runs. Friday, maybe a recovery run, Saturday, long run. And that'll be the plan. Uh, besides that, watch the... The only Olympic thing I saw today was the USA play Canada. They lost, which was shocking. But they just... They didn't look like they were playing to their full capability, their full potential. And Canada just got a PK, put the PK away, and... U.S. struggled to get good shots. They had good header from Kylie Lloyd. The keeper grabbed it. <sighs> Saw a little bit of some Olympic recaps on the YouTube. I felt like I, I, don't know, I wanted to see some track today, so that'll have to do, and hopefully tomorrow I can catch back up. But 100 push-ups are done. 110 push-ups, rather. Didn't do any workouts because got the early tra training session, so I need to go to bed. I had to do a quick read. I'm on, where am I at right now, page 151, so I'm getting there, keep chipping away at it, any other updates I can think of, can't, I can't, 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 gonna weigh myself tomorrow morning, before the workout, see how things go, and that's it, that's the day. 
So again, it was rating day rating was an eight. It was great to be social, have a good run, put it all together. Afterwards, I had some chicken and some steamed veggies with cheese on it. I have had some Ritz crackers as well. I just felt hungry afterwards. I was trying to satisfy that hunger. I didn't hydrate as much as I wanted. Probably go get another drink right now and call it a night. So, run your life with health and happiness. Have a good night.